In this video, we're going to go over generators, how to make them quiet with virtually zero dollars. A lot of people have this stuff already around, won't cost them anything, no welding or anything else. But I'm also going to go over some myths, like the, the muffler myth that all the sound comes out of the muffler. It doesn't. I'll show you. I'll prove it to you. I actually have a professional sound meter. I'll show you why. I'll show you where the sound comes from. Show you how to quickly and easily cut 10 or more decibels right off the sound and make a cheap generator work like a several thousand dollar generator. Now this is pretty typical to what anybody would buy, you know, made in China or not. This is a Coleman Powermate, 5,000 watts, 6250 peak. Um, the original engine, it was a Subaru that, um, like all Subaru products, blow up, right? Haha. <laughs> now, it was a Subaru, it did blow up. This one is a Honda that was retrofitted in. This is an old Honda. This is a early, early 80s Honda flathead. So this is loud as crap. It's retrofitted with the original Subaru muffler. So it's actually probably, it's actually quieter than it would have been, but it's still 80 some odd decibels. So we're gonna move this out into an open area in the middle of the lawn, st space ourselves out about 23 feet. Okay, I'm gonna start and run it and I'm gonna take different decibel readings from different areas. Directly out of the exhaust, next to the exhaust, directly out inside the engine block, and that's where the majority of the sound actually comes from. Actually, it's you, the exhaust is quieter than the sound coming through the side of the block. Um, I am gonna reduce the volume, um, but I'm gonna do it throughout the video at a steady level, at the exact same level throughout the video, just so I don't deafen you guys, because this is gonna be over 100 decibels and your computer is gonna hate you. So I'm gonna reduce it, but it's gonna be a steady reduce. It's, but you know, it'll be the same reduce for here or here. So, but you'll be able to look at the meter and see the difference in sound. So you can deaden sound pretty much two different ways. There's, there's a couple others, but it's basically two different ways. Deflection, deflecting the sound waves, or absorption. So most mufflers work on the principle of deflection. So in here, there's a bunch of braces and it bounces the sound back and forth, back and forth. Sound waves hit into each other and cancel. And then it comes out the other side and it's quiet. And this muffler actually used to be on that Honda, but when I retrofitted it into that generator, it was just way too big to fit in there but the sound was virtually the same. Maybe one, two decibels lower with this, but the energy coming out of the generator, the generator was actually a lot weaker too. So you're reducing, you're, it's restrictive exhaust and you are only dealing with 10 horsepower or so. So every little bit matters. And when they do them in generators, they put every little, they don't give you way more than you need to like a car, but I do have a video on the difference between putting in a, uh, I'll put a link to it, putting in a muffler and not. And I have the same sound meter it's years ago, but it, I show you, I get about two decibels difference in sound. But what a muffler will do is change the frequency. So even though something's just as loud, I'd rather hear like a dull droning versus a high pitched squeal at the same, at the same uh, decibel. So that's what a muffler will do. So. It'll reduce the decibels by one, two decibels, but it'll make it sound like it's lower. And also, my, my good friend BC Truck does a video where he puts a, an absorption muffler, a glass pack. Yeah, they're not louder. They really aren't. They actually, you know, it's quieter than the sound coming out of the side of the generator. So, but an absorption muffler is actually a really nice thing. And that absorbs the sound in the fiberglass material. And it'll last, I mean, it'll last forever on a generator. You know, a car, you could... It'll, you'll last for eight months or something and burn out, but not on a generator. It'll last pretty much forever. So I'll put a link to, you know, I'll put a link to his video down below in the description as well. But here's the muffler. So we're going to use the same principle to drop 10 decibels as a muffler by deflection. So like I said, there's basically two different types of sound deadening, um, getting rid of sound. And one is absorption and the other is reflection. And so we're going to use those principles, the same principles inside a muffler, around the generator and lose about 10 decibels. And I'm going to show you how with virtually 
no out-of-pocket cost. Stuff you probably just have them laying around and stuff that's portable. Okay, we're peaking somewhere around 79, 80 decibels. So now I'm going to do my little trick and drop 10 decibels. So what do we got here? Plywood, plywood, that's just a piece of sheetrock. Sheetrock is nice because it won't catch fire. So that's actually on the exhaust side. But still, everything is tapered so much away that there is still amazing airflow. All I'm doing is directing the sound waves, boom, directly into the dirt. So they're just deflecting. That's all this is. Um, and this is just, this is something you could cut yourself four or five pieces of random plywood. You, you, this OSB seems to be um, amazing at deflecting the sound better than the plywood does. And the OSB, you know, I've held right side by side with the sound meter behind them. And the, um, the OSB and the sheetrock seem to be dead on. Um, this looks like it's 5 eighths. No, uh, that's half inch. That's half inch, uh, just sheetrock. But I'm still getting amazing airflow under there. I'm just taking all the uh, the sound waves and deflecting them into the ground. And you could put another board, lean it up against this one and deflect any sound waves coming out there back onto the ground and vice versa. It's simple, but the simple things are what works. And I need a generator that's portable and a lot of people do. Take a camping or something to that effect. Four pieces of plywood, four pieces of OSB that fit together. Take up this much space by they lay flat, not in your way. Um, if you want to do a permanent insulation, insulation, it is nice. People build what like a dog house, a little house for them, you know, on a piece of property. You build a big house, but then you got to put a fan to be able to vent the stuff. And people are doing square walls, and the problem with the square walls is the sound just bounces from one side to the next, and it finds its way out by having them angled down. All the sound is buried into the grass in this case, which absorbs pretty well. You know, probably not perfect, but you could even line the inside of your plywood with um, tar, where they actually have this tar-backed um, uh, tinfoil stuff for sound editing cars. You could layer on the inside, and that would also absorb sound and deflect it, and you could be a little bit less. But for that to reduce 10 decibels, because every 5 decibels, and I could be wrong, every 5 decibels is about half as loud. So. Um, being 10 decibels lighter, uh, quieter is four times quieter than is what your what your ear senses. So that generator after it did that was four times quieter than it was. Um, but if you want to watch the video on me doing the uh, putting a muffler on before and after, you'll notice in the video, you know, not mobile users but other users, I put a, quite a bit of script in there how putting too restrictive a job of an exhaust actually change the jetting on the carb and actually you'll see it in the video I actually have to adjust the jetting to compensate for the more restrictive exhaust so not always the best thing to put a big big restrictive car muffler if you are going to put a muffler do like BC truck did and I'll put a link to his video below where he just puts a uh, like a cherry bomb an absorption muffler I know there's cherry bombs everybody thinks they're super loud but it's just an absorption muffler I'll put a link to his video down in the description as well thanks for watching leave me a comment below any questions, I'd love to answer them. Thanks, guys.
See you soon. Bye. Quick helpful tip, one of the best things you can do if you own a piece of power equipment like a generator to tell, you know, maintenance and stuff like that is put an hour meter on it. And don't use a cheap one, use a nice one like this. So put this hour meter on and then whenever it's running, I know how long it's been running for.